Hi everyone, my name is Lisa. Welcome to my channel. I just, I am not, it's also. Hi everyone, my name is Lisa. Welcome to my channel, Vegan Victoria. Today we're going to be doing water kefir. And if you haven't heard of it, well, you're not alone. My boyfriend and I went to visit our friend Marco and so we went for skiing and he's actually on ski patrol. He's originally from Italy and just such an awesome guy. So he really loves to cook and he made us this lovely dinner. We brought our homemade kombucha, it was for his birthday. So here we are sitting around the dinner table. Um, he looks over and says to us, you know, this is great. And have you tried water kefir? And we say, no, uh, what is that? Uh, you know, we're really intrigued to learn more because he was saying it's really tasty, really healthy. And so I thought, okay, this is something that we have got to make. So now what we're going to do is actually show you the step-by-step -step simple process with just a few ingredients of how to make it at home. And it was great because my boyfriend got online and he ordered the grains that you start with. And so this company, Florida Sun Kefir, they send you this nice packet of detailed instructions and then your grains, which they're actually, they look like little spongy crystals. So they're um, a yeast and um, culture bacteria. So that's what they are. And we'll use that with our sugar water. And that sugar goes into feeding the, um, the yeast and to give you that lovely, healthy, rich probiotic. And so that is also what aids in your digestion and has many health benefits like boosting your immune system and even like weight loss, cancer prevention. So it's packed with all these like amino acids and nutrients and vitamins. You can make it with uh, water or coconut water. It's dairy free and we're gonna go through the process together. There's a first fermentation and then a second. And so what also we came with in this packet is this cute little bag here and that way you use that to flavor it with uh, fruits as you like, or you can also use a fruit juice. And it gives you such a nice, like fizzy, refreshing beverage. And so just depending on your taste buds, you know, you can customize it. And we're gonna do step one together. And then in the next video, we'll show you our step two of fermentation. So this company that we found online, this Florida Sun Kefir, they have it laid out very simply, just three ingredients. It says brown sugar of any kind. And I know we have that room temperature water. Pretty sure we've got that and then your grains. And so we're gonna put this all together and uh, do the process together. Now we're gonna get started with our simple recipe and I've already measured out a quarter cup of brown sugar. So I'm gonna put that in with our grains and then we're just gonna mix it all up together. So we're gonna give it a good stir and it'll all dissolve. So it's okay if it's not yet dissolved. All right, now I'll add our cute little cultured grains here. Ooh, it's getting full. All right, so it's a little too full. I'm just gonna pour out a little bit of our liquid there. No problem. And we'll get the rest of our little guys in here. So the next step with our water kefir process is to cover it, and then we're going to store it. And our room temperature here is about 70 degrees and so this packet came with this handy chart and so for the 70 degrees that we're at about four to five days you want to wait so that's what we're going to do we're going to store it in a dark place so you can use your cabinet or your closet is fine and so it's been a few days three exactly and i'm eager to see how our water kefir is doing so let's check it out aha here we are and take a look, it's getting nice and puffed up, our little cultures, so we're starting to float. Still a little bit of this brownish color from the brown sugar. It's actually, I'm curious to do a little taste test, so, and hopefully it's not funky. Mmm, oh, it's yummy, it's just slightly sweet, just like a sugar water, so we don't have that fermentation just yet, but it's definitely um, tasting really smooth, really nice. So we're gonna put it back now. All right, so now we're gonna wait two more days because it's about 68 degrees in here, room temperature wise. And according to the little chart the company sent us, that's how long we wanna wait is about five days. So I'm really 
really eager, but we're gonna wait a couple more days. We'll check back in. Okay, I'm so excited. It's been five days since we started our water kefir process. So we're gonna see how this looks and oh yes, it looks great. You can see all the bubbles, the fizziness. It's fermented, it's ready to enjoy. And you can see all the little cultures have really swollen up, they look great. So now what we actually are going to do is put it into a larger jar so we can just increase our production. And we're gonna add one cup of sugar to this. And you can even just drink it now. Like so let's taste this and see how it is. Oh yeah, it's got that tanginess, little sweetness, so it's excellent. Okay, so first I'll put the sugar in. Now our sugar has dissolved, and this time I used white sugar. Last time we used the brown sugar. As you recall, we have this tint as well, so it really doesn't matter what kind of sugar you use. And now all we're going to do is just pour all this in here. This is one gallon of water. So here we go. Yay! And then we'll just cover it and we'll let it sit in the cabinet for three more days. You can go up to five and uh, just keep checking it. And that's it. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You'll get my new videos that I launch every week. Look out for my follow-up video, which will be the second fermentation process. You'll learn a lot of excellent technique, and I look forward to seeing you in the next clip. Lots of love and light to you all, and take care. I forgot what to say. Give me a cue.